what's up guys it's michael stewart here and welcome back to a quick how to video so today i'll be showing you how to install wordpress on your machine on your computer so that you can begin practicing um, building websites perhaps landing page leads pages and you know just begin the process of exploring wordpress and i'm going to show you a very easy method so in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Bitnami to actually install WordPress in a very easy step-by-step -step manner. Because as I've seen a lot of tutorials out there and not a lot of them actually shows and a very easy way to get you up and running without any complexity. So to do this, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to jump over to Google and you're going to type Bitnami. WordPress as you can see here hit enter do a quick search for it and it, you will go to their website Which is the very first link at the top Once you're on their website you look for this section on My computer so if you are running a Mac Windows or Linux computer this option will become relevant to you. So you hit that then you'll scroll to the bottom of the page. So after clicking, you'll scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll see the option. So of course, I'm running a Windows machine. So I'll hit download, click this, uh, to begin the process of downloading Vietnam. I did it earlier, so I'm going to show you what you should have. So you'll hit that button. And once you have it, you'll, you'll have this on your computer. So obviously I, I did it before. So I'll click this. You'll click it once it has been downloaded. And you'll see this pop up in. So once you hit install, this little window here will appear. So you'll hit OK. Of course, it's on English, so you'll hit OK. And it's now just a step by step process. So you'll hit next. Have these two items check PHP my admin and WordPress hit next choose the folder that you want Bitnami to be installed in so in this case we leave it as is so hit next so once you're on this screen it will ask you to create an account so here you'll actually create a WordPress login uh, uh, word, your WordPress login which you will use to gain access to your website so be sure to remember the details that you enter at this point as you won't be able to have access to the website so my name is Michael Stewart I'll enter an email address you'll also enter a login username be sure to keep everything in lowercase then you also create a password you need to re-enter the password and then hit next it's saying that we need to choose a port for Apache. Leave it as is. Hit next. Hit next again. Hit next. And then it's going to ask you to give the blog a name, which is really the name of the website. So we can give it a name. Let's say test website. You could give it the name of your business. Let's say you're selling laptops. So it's laptopsandmore.com. So it'll be laptops and more. That's 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 just the name of the website. So test the website is ours. Then we'll hit next. Next again. Leave it as is. Hit next. So as you can see, it's just a matter of entering the details and, and hitting next until it brings you to another page so it, it will launch this page because we had that checked so all we need to do is just click this icon here the wordpress icon at the bottom of the screen and then 
will hit next so at this point it's uh, it's going to begin the process of installing WordPress onto our machine so this will take a few minutes so as soon as it's done I'll return and I'll continue the tutorial okay so as you can see the installation is almost finished so once the installation has been finished you may see a few things appear so as it relates to giving access uh, allowing it on your firewall so all you need to do is just hit allow access given that this will be on my personal computer on my machine only I can actually allow these just to you know avoid any possible issues going forward as I try to use this the, the application so hit allow access you will also need to allow access to Apache server. So again, we check both private and public networks, given that this will be running on our, our PC only, and allow access again. So you'll need to wait a few more minutes to allow it to finish the installation process. So awesome, WordPress has been installed on your machine. So once it has been done, you'll now need to hit finish with the launch bit nami wordpress stock checked so that you can actually open it to view your website so once the installation has been completed it will automatically launch this page which is actually running on your machine if not you can go to the address bar and type in this exactly as is local host and it will take you to this page so all you will need to do is hit access wordpress which will take you to your website so here this is what you'll see this is the website that you can begin to edit so in order to gain access to the website you can enter localhost slash wordpress then after the forward slash enter this login then forward slash then hit enter it will take you to the login page where you will enter the credentials of of the website so we'll enter the credential credentials that we had created and hit login and there you have it wordpress is now up and running you have gained access to the website so you can begin to add additional pages make changes install plugins and you know begin to create your website so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please be sure to subscribe for more upcoming videos and of course you can check out other videos that we have created on you know web development marketing business sales and other good stuff take care